if you want to frame a partnership what is must you must have partnership deed what is partnership deed it is an agreement copy your remuneration will be calculated how up to 3 lakh it will be 90% above 3 lakh it will be 60% Warm welcome to one and all. This is your Radha Sir here, lecturing with the Ashram Facilitate College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are in the session one and unit four of Income Tax two. Under this, we are discussing the topic called Assessment of Partnership Firm. Now, just we completed with the topic called Assessment of Individual, and now we are moving towards Assessment of Partnership Firm. Under assessment of partnership firm, what we are going to do now? In this, you have two categories. One is you are supposed to find out the tax liability. Before that, you are supposed to find out book profit. Now, in this, in today's session, we'll go with the agenda of your main conditions as well as problems. Before we go to problem, we'll work out one problem today. Before that, we will understand what is assessment of partnership firm. So we'll not go from the basic like what is partnership, how many members are required for partnership, and what is partnership deed. Those things we'll not discuss. Why? Because you already done in your PUC. Now, in this partnership firm under the Income Tax Act, in this. In the entire Income Tax Act, partnership firm is not defined anywhere. However, according to Section Two, Subsection Thirty Three of the Income Tax Act, the word partnership has the same meaning as described in the Indian Partnership Act. So remember, under Income Tax Act, like like your accountancy, accountancy, what do we have? We have partnership problems. But from where did where do we take that partnership? We take it from your Partnership Act, nineteen thirty-two. Now, under Partnership Act, nineteen thirty-two, whatever rules and regulations are there, what are the details they have given? The same thing we will follow in the Income Tax Act also. Why? Because in the Income Tax Act, there is no separate section for partnership. In Income Tax Act, it is not explained about your partnership. That's why. If no informations are available in the income tax, we should go with the Act called Partnership Act, nineteen thirty-two. Where do you get Partnership Act? Go to your commercial law, or else your business law. In that, you will get Partnership Act, nineteen thirty-two. Now, so in this Partnership Act, whatever it says, like don't go with the theory of basic funda. Why? Because just you are supposed to do the problem here. They will not ask you what is Partnership Act. What are the contents of partnership deed? Nothing. They will ask you. They will ask you directly computation of book profit. Compute the tax payable by the partnership. So like this, you are supposed to be asked, and you have to prepare only problems for this topic. Now, partnership also include a limited liability. Remember, partnership comes under limited liability partnership as. Defined in the Limited Liability Partnership Act, two thousand eight. Now, in this, in India, partnership is one of the most common form of business organization. These are the basic points just to remember, not learn. It is a type of business entity which is created by the two or more person who have agreed to share profit and losses. Profit is must, losses optional actually. Conditions for assessment of partnership firm to be assessed as partnership firm. So partnership firm conditions are, as per rules and regulations of the Income Tax Act 1961, the firm must be evidenced by an instrument, a written partnership deed. If you want to frame a partnership, what is must? You must have partnership deed. What is partnership deed? It is an agreement copy. Now. The share of every partner in the agreement copy. What are the details are there? Like your sharing ratio, how much profit you will share. Every member have to certify the partnership deed. 
certified copy of partnership deed must be filled along with the returns of income and there shall be no failure no part of the form to comply with a notice given for assessment these are the information you are supposed to remember before you are going for partnership act now so under partnership act these are the explanations are given again i am repeating don't remember don't learn all this point just to explain what is partnership i have taken all this points but in examination you will not get any theory questions on partnership theory now we'll go with problem number 1 so this we call it as assessment of partnership form now in this we are not doing tax calculation i think tax calculation will come from next session today we'll go with the basic problem it is not a basic one but half of your problem we are solving today actual question paper they will ask you you are supposed to find out the income along with the tax liability also but here we are calculating only the book profit book profit nothing but the income from your partnership form now so p q and r are partners in a form sharing profit and losses equally there are equal partners sometimes they will give you ratio also 5 is to 3 2 is to 2 1 is to 2 like that the ratio they may give you but as per this problem they are sharing profit and losses equally for the year ended 31st march 2020 the firm net profit is 5 lakh what is the net profit they have given 5 lakh Debiting the following, so along with that we have these informations also. What partners will get? They will get their salary, and they will get commission and interest on their capital, and they are supposed to pay interest on drawings. Remember your partnership. What you did in the PUC accountancy, the similar kind of knowledge you should have, but the complete format will be changed. we will not do revaluation account realization account partners capital account balance sheet those things will not do here we do only calculation of book profit and calculation of tax liability only these two are the things we are supposed to find out now so format is not required while doing problem you will understand better how to find out book profit now salary of q how many partners are there three p q and r three partners are there now salary of q is 50000 then commission of p is 20000 bonus to r 10000 donation to ndf 30000 salary commission bonus donation these are the expenditures they made now the above net profit of 5 lakh so whatever profit they have mentioned here the above profit of 5 lakh also included also included rupees 20000 entered on government security for government security whatever they have given that is included and 10000 dividend from indian company both are exempted one dividend also exempted up to what limit up to 10 lakh dividend amount is exempted now compute the remuneration payable to the partners and firms business income for the previous year 1920 now you are supposed to find out the remuneration of the partners how to compute remuneration easy step within 2 to 3 minutes we can solve this now calculation of book profit how now your net profit is how much so net profit is 5 lakh it is already given in the question itself your net profit is 5 lakh now once you done or once you got your net profit then you are supposed to go with your all the income like salary salary to q how much it is given 50000 Commission to P twenty thousand, bonus to R ten thousand, donation to NDF thirty thousand. Actual profit is six lakh ten. What is actual one? Your six lakh ten thousand. This is a total. From six lakh ten thousand, already they have deducted thirty ten twenty fifty. So that's why they have given five lakh. 
we need to add back ulta reverse method we are supposed to add back if you add back all this the five lakh will become how much 6 lakh 10000 now 6 lakh 10000 is your total profit total profit before giving to the partners now from 6 lakh 10000 there are two things are included we are supposed to remove that which are that interest on government security dividend to indian company these two are there so if you remove these two 30000 your book profit will become 5 lakh 80000 what is your book profit 5 lakh 80000 this 5 lakh 80000 including the amount payable to partners which are those salary commission donation everything is included and we have to exclude only the interest and dividend to india company now you got your book profit of 5 lakh 80000 now in the question what they have asked we are supposed to find out compute remuneration payable to partners we'll find out the remuneration part now these are the calculation of allowable remuneration to the working partner now so whatever we are doing today it is only basic one similar kind of questions you will not get in your examination but in this what you are learning means how to find out book profit and how to calculate remuneration these are the two things you are learning today clear but examination these kind of problems you will not get but concept are needed to work out problems now in this how to find out remuneration very simple the remuneration concept is up to 3 lakh 90% above 3 lakh 60% remember this concept this is a fixed percentage we have in the partnership so whatever the book profit you will get your remuneration will be calculated how up to 3 lakh it will be 90% above 3 lakh it will be 60% now in this how much you got i got 5 lakh 80000 now up to 3 lakh you calculate 90% you got 2 lakh 70 Balance two lakh eighty. Total it is five lakh eighty thousand. Two lakh eighty into sixty percent one sixty eight. Total is four lakh thirty eight thousand. What is the total? Four lakh thirty eight. This is first one. This is what first one. We'll go one by one. You are calculating your remuneration. We have three categories: A, B, C. We have done A. We have done first one. what is the second one second one is maximum limit is 1 lakh 50 what is the second one maximum limit is 1 lakh 50000 so there is a second one again the resultant value is 4 lakh 38 how do we calculate this if you have confusions we'll make it clear now in this first we'll understand the concept later i'll come back for this calculation now remember 90% of 3 lakh and 60% for abo this is first then maximum limit or stand i can call it as standard limit is 1 lakh 50000 out of these two which ever is higher hope you are clear 90% of 3 lakh and above is 60% of above so from this you compare 1 lakh 50000 out of this which ever is higher so if you find this is higher take this value this is higher take this value later whichever is higher you collected then actual amount compare with actual amount or actual value which ever is less not higher which ever is 
less. Hope you are clear. Simple calculation. 90% of 3 lakh are 60% of the EVO. And 60% of EVO. Compare with rupees 1 lakh 50 thousand, whichever is higher. After getting your answer, compare with the actual amount, whichever is less. Clear? Yes. Now come back to this. In this, I'll change the color. Now, 3 lakh into 90 percent, total is 5 lakh 80 thousand. 3 lakh into 90 percent, balance 2 lakh 80 into 60 percent, you got 4 lakh 38 thousand. Compare with 1 lakh 50, whichever is high. So, 4 lakh 38 is high, or 1 lakh 50 is high. So, which is higher now? 4 lakh 38. So, you got 4 lakh 38. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now 4 lakh 38 or 80,000 is the actual. 80,000 is the actual. Where it is actual? See, the salary is salary commission bonus. 50,000 plus 20 plus 10. All put together 80,000. Hope you are clear. Yes. In this, your salary it is nothing but Salary commission bonus. Salary commission bonus. Salary is given 50,000 plus commission 20,000 and bonus 10,000. All put together, it is how much? 80,000. Now, as per this 80,000, out of these two, whichever is higher or less, remember, whichever is less. Whichever is less. Now, so if you take whichever is less, your 4,38 are 80,000. 4,38 are 80,000. Whichever is less now, 80,000 is the less. This is your remuneration. Every problem you will get this calculation. Clear? So whatever we are doing assessment of partnership form, every problem you will find this calculation of remuneration, computation of remuneration. Sometime for 5 marks they may ask you separately. So remember 90% of 3 lakh or 60% of EBO out of which compared with 1 lakh 50 thousand whichever is higher. Compare 1 lakh 50 with your actual amount, whichever is less. So this 1 lakh 50 thousand is a standard limit. Hope you are clear. Yes. I'll go back to your previous slide so that you can take screenshot. Conditions for assessment of partnership form. Partnership form under Income Tax Act. Conditions. Problem number one, basic example problem. The solution part for your example problem. Remuneration calculation. First understand the concept. Later you work out this. Yes. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood how to calculate your book profit and how to calculate your remuneration part. Now. The homework part. Homework part is very simple. As you know that the homework has to be done in the comment box. What is today's homework? Very simple. While calculating remuneration, while calculating partner's remuneration, what is the standard limit you have? Hope you are clear. Yes. While calculating partnership remuneration, what is the standard limit we have in this? I have explained this twice, thrice and many times. So remember that word so that you will get the answer. Thank you.